hidden in a dry, shallow valley, the invading Romans. There is only one point in the river where each army can cross. The hill by the river offers a good vantage point to defend access to the city. Also, there is a high plateau away from the river which could be tactically useful. But will our team spot these key features? Take the hills away, it's like the east end of London, isn't it? <laughs> so we've got two hills there and we've got this hill. So we're about to be on that side. Yeah. One of the key features of this piece of ground is a plateau. It's broad, it's high, and it gives the Armenians the potential to put their army somewhere that gives their horse the advantage of being able to charge downhill, gives them visibility of the Romans as they approach, and it'd be a nice place to fight if the team can see it. But will the team see the advantage of this possible battleground? So there's an army just here, between that, that landmass there and that landmass there. The team have only identified the hill, but missed the river crossing and the plateau. Unless they can understand the lie of the land, their whole campaign could be jeopardized. Have a look at the big screen here, and use my friend Adam, who throughout this will be able to guide you around the battlefield. Come back, and Adam will help you swoop over the entire area, get an overview, and get a sense for where this battle is going to be fought. OK. And that's that, that landmass there, isn't it? So is it? That's... I think that's that landmass over there. This is the point where our two lieutenants can go down to the front, talk to our two technicians, right. and get a detailed look at exactly what you have to hand. So go down and do that. Pick one each. Each technician controls a different part of your army. You need to work out which bit's which. Again, that'll prove critical when it comes to fighting the battle. In their first task as lieutenants, Emma and Mark must gather intelligence about their own troops. They face a professional, well-trained Roman army. To have a chance of victory, the team must find out everything they can about the strengths and weaknesses of their own forces. Will they realize the importance of their heavy cavalry, the cataphracts? And will they understand the sheer size of the army they have at their disposal? The ones in the rows at the front are slingers. Right. Slingers? Yeah. The Armenian army has 10,000 slingers. As ammunition, they have sharp stones which they hurl at the enemy using leather slings. Then just behind them to the left, there's the general with elite guards. The Armenian general, King Tigran, has come to this battle with a huge army confident of a glorious victory. And then the two rows behind them are archers. A phenomenal 10,000 archers. Firepower the Romans have seldom faced before. And then them four blocks behind are all infantry. And then there's three blocks of spearmen. The 20,000 spearmen could be effective in this battle if deployed as backup troops for the more vulnerable archers. To be honest, he wish he'd been a general. No, I'm quite happy. King Tigran, or Tigranes in Greek, has got a vast army, but it's like a soap bubble. It's big, but it relies on its structure to stay together. There's nothing inside it, it's got no guts. Tigranes has got an army that's huge because all of the other kings have sent him contributions but they've been making up numbers. It's like a big production of a musical where they bring in school kids, hand them a spear, and tell them to stand on stage. The block at the back, they are infantry, and then the big block in front of them are infantry as well. So infantry, archers. Infantry. Infantry, 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 infantry. And then All those front. big blocks are infantry. Are infantry. Tigran is king of kings of the Armenians. And king of kings for him means that he has got the king of the Adiabenians with him, he's got the king of the Medes with him, he's got Gordianians, he's got Albanians, he's got Arabs, he's got steppe nomads. It's like a scene out of Conan the Barbarian. Tigran has not got a tight army, he's got a big, loose army. And it can fall apart at any moment. 
With this huge variety of troops, will the team be able to marshal them effectively? And is that the enemy? No, this is us as well. Further along the river, away from the city, are the Armenian secret weapon, the cataphracts. All of them are cataphracts except the small group, which is scouts, which are just at the front. This formidable troop are on horseback, heavily armored in chain mail, with long spears. Having discovered them, will the team realize how useful they could be when planning their strategy? One of the great strengths of the Armenian army are these heavy cataphract cavalry, just the thing that might be able to disrupt the Roman order and discipline. Having gathered all the information from the technicians, the team still seem to be oblivious to the sheer size of this Armenian army. And how many slingers were there? Two blocks of 125 slingers. Two blocks. Feel free to use these props, look. Ah, <laughs> uh, there we are. <laughs> yes, put them back where they were. Good. All right. Come round here, then. We've got to your left. Let me know if you are happy with... We've got to your left. ...how all that looks. Oh, I was still... You still got two left. These we're not sure about, but maybe we can put them somewhere soon. But by yeah. and large, you think this, this is how it looks out there. Yeah. Yeah. OK. Perhaps a more detailed look at some of their troops will help the team realise what they have to fight with. I'm going to give you a little extra help now. Do you feel you need it? I yes. think that we could do some help. <laughs> I'm going to give you information about some key troops. This will be packed with facts, which again will help you in the battle, so do take careful note. First, here are the cataphracts. Cataphracts. Heavily armoured horses, formidable force when charging in close formation. Vulnerable at the flanks, armed with long spears. Heavily armoured. Mm -hmm. So they won't be able to turn around quickly. They'll be, they're so not going to be very mobile. They're like tanks with legs. <laughs> <laughs> These heavily armoured cataphracts and their great big lances are tremendously powerful out in the wide open spaces. They're slow moving but they have the capability of delivering a shock charge. They can run into you and frighten you away and smash your formations if you're not careful. And the Roman cavalry are comparatively crap. And as a result, the Romans are gonna have to keep a good, careful eye on these cataphracts. Okay, let's have a look now at your archers, see what you can make of them. Archers can disrupt enemy on the move, poor in close combat, firing range of only 100 metres. The Romans aren't used to archers, that's yeah, quite that's important, isn't it? Isn't it? So we should maybe try and surprise them with the archers. How would you surprise them, do you think? Hide yeah. behind something. Yeah, hide them. And place them somewhere out of the way yeah. so that they're safe until... And a 100 metre range as well on the boards. We need to get some idea of distance. Yeah. Interesting comment just made by the team. They recognize that the archers are a key element, which is fine. I mean, they've been given the information, but I think, interestingly enough, they suggested that they actually hide them and use them in some kind of surprise um, way. Now, the problem they've got with their archers is that their actual range is really quite small. I mean, they can only fire for 100 meters. They can't really be used over long distances. And the key with archers is to prevent the enemy closing to them too quickly, yeah. and that's the problem they've got. If they hide them away too far, they may not be able to influence the battle at all. That's right, and the allied horse that the Romans have with them could attack the archers if the archers are not in a mutually supporting relationship with some heavy foot or perhaps some uh, of the Armenian cavalry. One more clue for you, have a look at your peasants. Armenian peasants, effective in large numbers, untrained may panic like peasants the world over there a lot of them and of course they've always got javelins <laughs> no matter how poverty stricken you are always got a javelin each part of the army that the team has available has its own strengths and weaknesses and they've got to be able to keep their army close enough to allow the strengths of one kind of troops to compensate for the weaknesses of the other troops. Now, how much more help would you need? 